Thank you for being here. What would you like me to know? Honorable Judge Dora and court members. My name is Kathleen McCarthy, and I'm a very close friend of Jesse's. We met two years ago when I was sentenced to four and a half months at WCJ at the age of 70 years old. One week in, I was placed in pod three and was quickly informed about some of the inmates. And first was Jessie. She was known as the Visine killer and was awaiting her murder trial. Somewhat scared, I watched a lot and saw that some inmates treated her as a human being and others as a disease, not very nice. Jessie pretty much kept to herself, feeling like a leopard and really not knowing how the jail works, especially at my age. Jessie approached me and asked if I'd like to sit at her table, share meals with her, play cards. I accepted. Throughout the next four and a half months, we ate together, played cards together, prayed together. She and I became almost like mother and daughter. Well, with more like grandma, granddaughter. And between our many hours of conversations consisting of politics, religion, our family, pets, friends, her case, her prior bad acts, and likes and dislikes, I got to know the real Jessie. She is a caring, giving person. Many women who come in and go out of that pod have nothing, no family, no money, no friends to help and support them. The food in the jail is absolutely horrible, and I didn't eat much of it at all. Thank God I have a family that cared and could help me out with eye cares and money on my account. The people with nothing were recipients of gifts from Jesse, every last one of them. It was from sometimes body wash, combs, cups, ramen noodles from an eye care, paper, pens, use of the phone of her money to call their loved ones and their kids. After watching her do that, I in turn helped while she and I did this continuously for the